Nobody really likes to kill people in war, although they use it as an excuse to that shot not murder. It's war. It's not murder. Well, he don't know. He didn't know the difference, and I don't know the difference, and nobody knows the difference. It's not just, well, I'm anti-war. They're not just that. It can't be just that, I think. It has to be more. I think mankind must find a higher sensitivity himself. The war was over. It was a bittersweet moment. Like all Americans, conscientious objectors welcomed the end of the war, but they were deeply troubled by the way that it ended. What will be victory for a CO? I think the the only sure victory is to be true to your beliefs and your witness. But you're going to be alone, almost always. After the war, I got on the train in New York at Grand Central Station, took one of those overnight trains gave me a lot of time to reflect on what I had learned. I arrived in Goshen um, mid-morning. I stepped off the train and I looked out and there was no band there to welcome me back. There was no, the mayor hadn't planned for a parade. We didn't have any yellow ribbons around those old maple trees. As the soldiers came home and picked up the pieces of their lives, thousands of conscientious objectors replaced them in Europe and Asia to begin healing the wounds of war. God, the human suffering that, that follows in the wake of war. Very few people had the opportunity to, to see the price that we pay for the folly of war that I had. Making sometimes decisions to who got food. Do we give food to the kid or do we give it to the tubercular patient? And there was a particular meeting in Amsterdam in the fall of 1947, which just seemed like it was a catalog of disaster in the face of overwhelming. We just weren't cutting it. And we were a pretty gloomy lot. And the Dutch Quaker came in holding aloft a newspaper and it said, Quakers win Nobel Peace Prize, honored for relief services. And after maybe 10 minutes or so, this one young woman got up. The only thing that was said in the meeting at all was this woman. She got up and said, all I can say is a little love goes a long way. Boy, I've remembered that for 50 years. <laughs> 